We're going to start with Brian Boru on the uh, fifth fret. And just use your thumb and uh, to fret it and use your pick on the melody string on those first two notes. And then when you get to the one, one, uh, three, strum it with a really hard strum. It's a heavy strum to represent the sound of the troops marching. So it's one, one, three, and then a real quick flip flip on your uh, in out. Pick, pick, out, in, out, out, again on the one, one, one. So you're barring that first fret with uh, first index finger on bass, middle finger on middle, and ring finger on melody. Hear it again. Then you do it again. Then you go five, uh, four, three, and that's probably easier to do with index finger and middle finger and ring finger. Five, four, three, two. Oh, 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 four, three, two. Then you go back to your five, four, one, one, three, and again. That's your seven. Um, it's bar across the ones, and then uh, three sixteenth notes really fast. Two, three, four, and then you've got a five, oh, oh, five, uh, with a D chord. So it's one, two, three, four, five, four, and then back to your in measure four, a uh, five, three, one, 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 and then you end. Real heavy strum gives it its style, and I took the second ending that time, uh, and it just ends with a three one one one, and that one is real strong. And then you come back and pick the middle string to go ahead with your melody there in measure ten, and then three fast sixteenth notes with your thumb while you hold that bar one. And then quickly up to five, four, five. And I find it easier to do that with index on five bass, ring finger on four middle, and thumb on five melody string. And pinky down on the four. You might find it easier to do uh, index middle thumb and let your pinky play the four. And then three, one. Just pick those strings. Measure 12. Oh, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, two, one. That's the easy part. Bar one and run your thumb up, two, three, four, and then five, four, five. And back down to one, 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 three. And this, the ending of that phrase is in measure 16. It's on the second page. Three, two, one. And then oh, oh, five. Changes to a D chord and then your first ending. Three, one, one, one. Then it repeats back to measure um, 10. Strong and pick. And then it goes on um, uh, the second ending at the top of the second page, which is measure 19. It's uh, measure 18, three, one, one, one. And then you strum uh, 
open on the melody string and we're going in temporarily to the key of G. So you're going to bar the third fret and then run your thumb up the 16th notes there from three, four, five, six. Now you can't reach uh, with that bar three there all the way up to your seventh fret. If you can, if you've got hands big enough to do that, that's, that's okay. But I can't reach that, so I'm going to seven, six, seven. And I'm playing the seven with my index finger. I'm playing the six with my middle finger on the middle string, and I'm playing the seven with my thumb on the seventh fret melody string. And I've got my ring finger hidden back here on five, so I can go um, and then in measure 21, strum across open. One, two, three, four. Then bar your one again and run your thumb up two, three, four, five, four, five. Bar one, run your thumb up two, three, four, five, three, five. And one, one, three. And then you go back and repeat that section again. There's another section that I did with the hammer dulcimer arrangement that I didn't do with this one. If uh, I'm going to show it to you right now, if you don't, if you can't play it, it's a little hard. I'm having a hard time with it myself. But um, if you want to leave this one out, then at this point you're going to go back to the beginning and play the A section again. But let me just go ahead and show you this, and we'll just do it uh, without the tablature. It's one one three. And you're going to bring your thumb back to two and then pick one. While you hold down that bar at one, three, two, one. Then you're going to slide your, your same bar position with your index finger sliding up on the bass string, your middle finger sliding up on the middle string, and your ring finger sliding up on the melody string. All the way up to the eighth fret. And that little ride sounds real, it gives it that dulcimery sound. It gives it kind of that uh, old uh, medieval touch there, almost uh, reminiscent of the boots hitting the ground. And do it again. Then the next phrase is 210 all the way up to 7. Two, one, oh, seven. Now that seven might sound better with the bar, but to get the bar down tight enough, I'm anchoring my thumb here on the edge of my instrument. So I'm going two, one, oh, bar at seven, two, one, oh, seven, and then back to three, two, one, eight bar. And then your ending is the same ending that you have um, in um, at the top of the second page um, in measure 16. It's three, two, one, five, four, and then one, one, three again. Then you go back to the beginning and play the A section again, and that finishes it off.